Bible study 2 The second coming of Jesus and 144,000 saints Dear friends who are waiting a second coming of the Lord Welcome to second part of a study on the coming of Jesus and 144,000 In this segment we will continue to consider what is delaying the coming of Christ all the viewers in their mind stories or order would probably remember what happened 20 years ago. What was known as Y2K or Millennium Bug Problem took many by surprise and fear in the late 1999. Some anticipate that the computer program would not come when the date flicked over 20th century. They believe the computers will fail to function properly and this will cause a big chaos and destruction. For many Christians who believe the earth was created 6,000 years ago, this came as a sign of Jesus coming. They held on to their hope that maybe Jesus will come in 2000 when the earth celebrates its 6,000th birthday. However, Jesus didn't come and the 20 years have passed ever since. Jesus who said that I will come quickly has not come yet. After all signs of his coming were shown, sun being darkened, moon turning red and the stars falling from sky, Jesus has not come. Why? Don't you think we should know the reason? Or are we going to sit on our hands and remain ignorant? Many church leaders and preachers argue that the reason Jesus is not coming is because the gospel has not been preached to every nook and the cranny of the world. So they encourage church members to be more in commit to evangelical work. But is this really the solution? Sadly, it is not. Let's find out why. If you read Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 more carefully, you will notice a slight difference. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world for a testimony unto all nations, and then shall end come. This does mean that the end shall come when the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world. Instead, it indicates that the end shall come when the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached for our testimony. Therefore, we need to make it very clear that the preaching the gospel is only a way of achieving the goal, which is becoming a testimony. We should not get mixed up with the means and the purpose. The end will not come unless testimony of the gospel is made. No matter how passionately we spread the gospel and teach the third angel's message to the whole world, Jesus cannot take a single step out of heaven if the testimony are not provided. Then here comes a crucial question. What is the testimony of the gospel? We all know that Jesus Christ is the gospel. He lived a sinless life on earth and developed a perfect character. The testimony of the gospel is the having the same perfect character Christ de developed. He longs to see his children reveal a character after his similitude. Desire of Age 3.13 He will have his servants bear testimony to the fact that through his grace, men may possess Christ's likeness of Christ's character. Desire of Age 8.26 Yes, God desires his servants who receive the third angel's message will bear Testimony to the Gospel To be the testimony, we have 
to abide by God's law. We observe Sabbath, not Sundays, to honor and remember God's creation. Those who worship on Sunday can be saved but cannot be the testimony. The seer of a living God will be placed upon those only who bear the likeness to Christ in character. Rivian Herald, 1895 Many will not receive the seer of God because they do not keep his commandments or bear the fruits of righteousness. Letter 76 now it has become very clear that the testimony of the gospel refers to those who have the seal of living God. Who have the seal of living God? The 144,000 saints have it. These are the people whose character bears a perfect resemblance to Christ. And the number of his people reaches 144,000. Jesus will throw down the censer and will come to this earth. Unfortunately, this important trust has been neglected by many church leaders. I saw angels hurrying to and the throne in heaven, an angel with the rider in Cohen by his side, returned from the earth and reported to Jesus that, he, that his work was done. And the saints were numbered and seared. Then I saw Jesus, who had been ministering before the ark containing the Ten Commandments, throw down the censer. He raised his hands and with a loud voice said, It is done. Early writing 279. Please remember only when the 144,000 saints are numbered can Jesus make his way to this earth. Simply spreading the gospel will not make any difference. The gospel has been preached to all nations since the era of Apostle Paul. It is incorrect to say that Jesus is not coming because the gospel was not preached far enough. Jesus cannot come because the 144,000 saints are not numbered. This is the plan of God and the plan of the redemption. Let's strive to be part of the Holy Saints with all the power and ability God gave us. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you today for enlightening us on the real reason why Jesus was not able to come, help us to wholeheartedly and fully commit to be the among 144,000 saints. Please strengthen our faith so that we may be able to be one of the blessed group. Lord, help us so that we can spread this precious truth to all children around the world. Forgive us for having been ignorant and negligent. We want to be your testimony to the world. So help us, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.